I'm going to tell you about the contents of a 250 pound goodie bag, so keep on watching. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below because Miu uploads a new video every week and you don't want to miss it out. As promised last week, today I'm going to show you the contents of the 250 pound goodie bag that I've got from the Jeffree Star MMM Mitchell Masterclass. If you haven't seen last week's video, it's filled with emotion. We are going to dive in into this bad boy, <sighs> which is very heavy. But I'm at my happiest moment when I'm holding a bag filled with makeup. So, let's dive in. You guys, I put the goodie bag near me so I can easily take stuff out and talk about them. But I'm so excited about this unboxing, like, after the event. I got home and I opened the goodie bag just so I can see what is inside. And I made, like, a little... Um, calculus to see the total worth so I'm gonna tell you all about that just a little bit later on on the video so you're gonna find out if it was worth it or not the price of 250 pounds but until then we're gonna do unboxing yay the first thing we have is a bum bag bum bag bum bag ouch ouch the first thing we have is a bum bag from pretty little thing and this is a really nice size as well. I'm not a very big fan of the color, but it's worth 10 pounds. The next thing we have is the Collab Dry Shampoo. I haven't tried these before. I'm more of a Batiste kind of girl, but I don't see why this would be a bad thing. And it smells really fresh. The fragrance is called Mermaid and definitely smells like mermaid. How can you tell if a thing smells like a mermaid? I don't know, but this definitely does. <laughs> so you don't get bored. Okay. The next thing we have is a Tangle Teaser brush. And this is in the style pineapple. You guys, this is a really, really useful thing to have. If you're not feeling like carrying around a full size brush, this guy can be your friend. I have quite a few of these in my house. Really useful. <laughs> Next thing we have is the Tati Lashes Hey Big Blender. But it's not as squishy as a beauty blender. It's more of a sturdy one. And it's cute and pink. Ooh. Let's keep on unboxing. The next thing we have is the eye. The next thing we have is the iconic London Prep Set Glow. And this one is in the shade Original. So good. I have one of these as well. You guys, again, if you haven't tried this one, please do. It's a really good one. And if you're using it like really close to your face, you can get those really nice and effortlessly freckles. It's a really good tip. The next thing we have is a Barry M holographic eyeshadow topper and this one is in the shade asteroid and i can see it's more of a duochrome between purple and blue oh it has a little dot for oh it's liquid i don't know why but i thought this is gonna be a powder but it's definitely not so let's see how this goes this looks so good you guys okay so definitely i was not expecting this and you can find it on super drug or boots as well i've seen it there but I haven't tried it and I'm sad about it because I should have. So far so good, only good stuff inside and I'm so excited. Next thing we have is a Mark Hill XL Volume Amplifying Serum. You guys, I haven't tried one of these before. I'm not quite sure how this is going to be. Collagen Fillers for Hair. Add strength, body and bounce. Okay, smells really good. Next thing we have is, and I'm so beyond excited about this guy. This is the Tati Lashes MMM Mitchell collaboration number two. And also we have a lash glue, which doesn't smell like much, I guess, but it's nice and pink. Okay, the next thing we have is Tanologist Express Tan. I'm not a big fan of self tan, just because I haven't tried it yet, because I'm scared that I'm gonna leave some sort of marks on me. Water doesn't sound so bad, so I think I'm gonna give this a try. Okay, the next thing we have is an ISO Clean makeup brush 
cleanser. So apparently this is supposed to be really good. MMM Mitchell recommended it and basically said that they are a small company just started but their solution is really good. The next thing we have is a Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Red Rum and this is the bad boy. Oh wow, this is a really nice red. Moving on, more tatty lashes. So we have four pairs. These are looking really, really nice. They seem comfortable as well. And it's weird looking at some lashes and telling that. I definitely needed some new lashes and now I got them. Next thing we have is the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which I can definitely appreciate. This has been my ride and die for the past two years. It's just amazing. If you haven't tried this before, that precise. It's really good and it's resistant and it's precise. Next thing we have is a Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. This is in the flavor of eggnog. I haven't tried Jeffree Star scrubs before. This is so cute. It smells so sweet. You definitely end up eating it. Next thing we have is a Velvet Tan Tanning Mitt. I'm not quite sure how or when I'm gonna use this because, like I said, I'm not using self tan. This might be a sign that I should start. The next thing we have is a lipstick from Giordana Tizia. Packaging is okay, I would say, but it's all pink and nothing very special. This is called Shady Lady and it's liquid lipstick. And it looks like this you can definitely see that the pigment is there i'm curious how this is going to dry down the jeffree star one is definitely dried and doesn't go anywhere moving on a mask bar luminizing charcoal peel off mask it exfoliates your skin oh another jeffree star lipstick celebrity skin you guys i've always wanted to try this shade because everybody's been raging about it and it's the most beautiful nude ever this is so cute the next thing we have is a huller and glow hair sheet mask looks like this you can all use a hair mask, a Nip and Fab contour palette in the shade 03 Dark. Looks just about right. I can't wait to try all of this makeup, you guys. This looks like a really nice contour. And I was looking for a really good bronzer as well because you all know I've been using and abusing the Hula bronzer. Next thing we have is a, a Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. You all know that I already have the Thirsty palette. This was literally my first YouTube video. This guy is gonna go in a future giveaway, so stick around. By the way, don't forget you guys that I have a giveaway ongoing right now on YouTube. So my second video contains a Blue Blood giveaway. So in case you haven't seen that, go on and see the requirements. It's so easy to win it. Moving on. Now this is a Spectrum X Mean Girls collaboration called Burn Book. And this is a set of brushes. Look at these. This looks so nice. I'm so curious to give them a swirl. One of my dreams to get, but I didn't actually got the chance to get it. And now I have it and it's worth 50 pounds. The next thing we have is a Jeffree Star Supreme Frost in the shade Snow Globe. This is one of the items that I was so amazed to find in a goodie bag because this literally, this retails for 30 pounds and it's one of the new collections. Look at that. Oh wow, I'm literally gonna put some on because why not? This is so beautiful. Look at that shine. Next thing we have is another highlighter and this is from Rodeo. Now this is an Instagram compact deluxe highlighting powder and this one retails for 52 pounds. But I haven't heard of Rodeo um, products before. This is so posh. Literally. This is the Jeffree Star one and this is the Rodeo one. Formula is also different as well. Jeffree's one is more sparkly and Rodeo one is more of a almost creamish. Next thing we have is a Be Perfect Sub Zero collaboration with MMM Mitchell. Look at that sick packaging. Looks like this. 
a Morphe palette, 35B artistry palette. Look at those colors. Hello pigment. Moving on, I can't believe we have so much makeup in here. I definitely needed to expand my makeup collection, but I was not expecting this when I bought the tickets to the event. The last thing that we have is one of the things that amazed me the most because this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Palette. First of all, this retails for £90 and this is a really, really good brow palette for anyone doing makeup or just enjoying makeup. Look at those things. I'm, I'm still speechless about this. I, I will tell you that because I was not expecting this to be in there. This I consider to be an OG makeup situation. No, it's empty. I wanted more, but I already have more. But this is me literally half of the time. <laughs> Okay, so after calculating everything, the total worth of the bag was 534 pounds and 44 pence. Now, you guys, <laughs> if I'm doing my math correctly, that's double the price I paid for the ticket. If you recall from the latest video that contained VIP seating, VIP meet and greet with Jeffree Star and MMM Mitchell, yeah, the VIP goodie bag and also VIP entrance and the goodie bag is worth more than double of that price. One of the best deals that I've got since I started in the makeup industry. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this unusual unboxing as much as I did. I found so many good things inside here and so many items that I was definitely not expecting to find inside this goodie bag but here i am with half a thousand pounds worth of makeup so excited to use all of this makeup in my future videos and i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget about the giveaway that we are currently holding on the second video on my channel so if you haven't watched that just go on and watch it before you leave don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you know next time when Mew uploads a new video Next one will be a really interesting one, you guys. <laughs> Until next time, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Mew. Drop it.